my name is Trin and today we're going to vlog. This is all I got right now. Right now I'm doing my makeup. So I finished my eye makeup and I just need to put on mascara. But before that, I want to do my face makeup so I can put on setting spray and then put on mascara. So, you know, I don't have to worry about it being transferred and stuff like that. So I have some very exciting things for this vlog. I guess you can say there are two parts to this. So the first part is, of course, the book signing that is happening today. And then the second part is the book signing that is happening next Friday. So there are two book signings that I'm going in January. And I just want to film both events and then just combine it into one vlog. So this is the vlog that you're going to get. Today is the Holly Black book signing, which is happening at Politics and Prose, which is in DC. It's very exciting because today the wicked king comes out which is the second book of like the folk of the air series so of course this is part one you know like the book sending for holly black part two is for Lori house anderson and elizabeth acevedo so Lori house anderson is having a book sending next friday the 18th and elizabeth acevedo will be there also but for today i'm going to dc of course to go to the book signing but since it starts at seven o'clock and i have like a lot of free time i'm actually visiting a friend before i'm going to the book signing so that's gonna be fun i hope oh my god he texted me i forgot about that but yeah i'm just gonna hang out with him first but i'm not gonna vlog when i hang out with my friend because i don't think he likes to be on camera oh i should do my makeup as i'm talking right now but yeah i'm just gonna go hang out with him and then go to the book signing and then it's gonna be fun oh fun so first i'm gonna put on highlighter so it's gonna be great i mean i've been to the bookstore before i went there last year for a book signing for i believe who is it? Daniel Clayton and Jason Reynolds. And it was so much fun and I really like that book signing so I cannot wait to go to that bookstore again. I'm gonna add my champagne pop. This is like an oldie but a goodie, I swear. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty brush. It's so good. Like it puts highlighter on like no other. Should we add more highlighter? Yes, we should. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty highlighter. This is in how many carats? So I don't wanna put on too much but just like right here and then now for bronzer i'm using the sephora bronzer in los capos i'm loving this bronzer so much it looks so fantastic on my skin tone so i'm using this brush by sonia kashuk oh i feel like i should talk i like to put highlighter on first and then place the bronzer beneath it and then hug it together so that it creates that look you have a really nice cheekbone and you know your highlighter is popping and your bronzer looks nice that's the look i'm going for i cannot wait to be done with my makeup so i can go downstairs and eat because i'm so hungry right now like i woke up and my stomach was growling and i have pasta downstairs my mom's pasta is like the best shit ever so i cannot wait to eat that thing but i'm scared that there won't be a lot because here's the thing when it comes to pasta i like to eat setting spray mascara and then boom i'm done yeah i can eat my pasta so the setting spray i use is milani make it last and this is so damn good oh my god so if you don't know, it takes me an hour to do my makeup, like no matter what. I mean, if I'm doing a full face, then of course it's gonna take me a long time because this eyebrow needs a lot of work, okay? A lot of, lot of, lot of work. Okay, I'm so hungry. I, I keep thinking about the pasta downstairs. So yeah, I'm going to stop filming now. And basically I'm not gonna film until I'm on my way to the bookstore for the book signing because I'm gonna hang out with a friend later. I'm gonna eat my pasta now. I'm so excited to eat pasta. And then I'm gonna change. You will see me at the book signing. <laughs> That's all I got. talented Holly Black, author of beautiful, beautifully dark and enchanting teen books, including Tight, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, The Curse Worker series, and The Darkest Part of the Forest. She is also the best-selling children's author, having won a Newbery honor for her doll bones, as well as collaborating with author Sandra Clare on the Magisterium series, Woo. whose conclusion just came out recently, The Iron Trial, and 
her work with Tony DiGiulisi brought us the best-selling children's series, The Spiderwick Chronicles. <laughs> so, and she has contributed to many short fiction anthologies as well, as well as some awesome graphic novels. Tonight, we are celebrating the release of the newest book in her Folk of Air series, the much-anticipated follow-up to The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King. <laughs> Holly will be in conversation with NPR Books Editor, Petra Mayer. So, without further ado, please join me in welcoming Holly Black and Petra Mayer. First of all, I don't know why I thought this was going to be a duology, but dang it, I got to the end and it was <laughs> No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I read everything. <laughs> and then also you just said that you can send him Sebastian. I do. And my first reaction was Sebastian. Yeah. 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 Sebastian Morgan. <laughs> I know it's sometimes it's, it's a problem because sometimes she's she'll say something about Sebastian and I'll be like my Sebastian or your Sebastian <laughs> normally it isn't an issue but occasionally I'm like you know like that thing Sebastian said and she's like your Sebastian and I was like no your Sebastian don't even know what hi what's your name my name's Katrina <laughs> oh my god okay she just came up to me and recognized me thank you so you know, much I love your videos thank I'm just like you. calling my husband like this is Trent I think it's Trent she's like you should Thank you so much. Of course. Oh my god. Oh my god. My makeup looks rough right now. It's been a really, really long day. So I'm here to just wrap up this part of the vlog and tell you what the hell happened because a lot of things have happened and honestly... I'm shook. Like I said, earlier today, I hung out with my friend and I did not vlog at all because he does not like to be on camera and it feels kind of weird to just vlog it because I enjoy hanging out with him. So we went to a bookstore and we went to a comic book store and then we went to a record shop and then we ate at a pho shop. Like we had so much fun, but then of course I lost track of time. I got to the bookstore around 6.50, so like 10 minutes before the book signing or like the book event start so it was fine so everything went well and i got the wicked king i was gonna say the wicked kingdom wow let me get the books so i have three books in here and two of them are already bought so i got the cruel prince sign and then darkest part of the forest sign so it's just the same thing i believe it says for trin and then the signature holly black right there and then of course the wicked king not the wicked kingdom just the wicked king i got this book sign as well i vlog a little bit there but i didn't really want to vlog the actual q a or like the actual conversation that holly has with the moderator just because number one there were a few people right in front of me and they were blocking the view so if i tried to raise my camera up i will be blocking people behind me's view so i didn't really want to do that and honestly it was just like a really long day and around that time i was already tired and i just wanted to sit and enjoy the event so i didn't really want to vlog but then of course you saw the footage of me talking to holly black which is really cool and then the final like bow on top of this day like today was such a good day but then this just made today 10 times better katrina oh my god god bless her she went up to me and she said hi and she said she loved my videos and my channel i was shocked because i joked about this with like a friend or with someone i don't remember who or like they told me like would it be cool if someone recognized you i think it was natalie i think it was my sister she was like would it be cool if someone recognized you and like they went up and talked to you and then we joke about it and be like oh my god that'd be so cool because i'd be a celebrity that was just us joking and when katrina came up to me i was like omg my first fan <laughs> it's just me like joking because i was freaking out because this never happens like yes i love making videos but i never thought i would get recognized the fact that she went up to me and said hi and oh my it it made my day like 10 times better like katrina made my day 10 times better and i'm so grateful to meet her and we had our picture taken i put it up here and it was just oh my god like it, 
I'm gonna cry honestly and I will also post a picture of me and Holly Black right here so yeah um is that all I have to say I guess what I'm trying to say is that yes I was joking about that whole celebrity thing and like my number one fan or my first fan it's just me joking but honestly meeting Katrina truly made today way better like than I expected and honestly I don't see Katrina as a fan I see her as a new friend that I just made and I'm very glad to to, you know meet her and see her and take pictures with her and now we follow each other on Instagram and Twitter too so yeah both social media accounts and I'm just grateful for today like today was such a fucking good day like I hung out with a friend and then I had so much fun at this book event and then I met someone a new friend like Today was great, honestly. So now I'm just gonna finish today off with a bag of hot Cheetos because there was a CVS close to the metro station. So went in there, got a bag of hot Cheetos for tonight. And yes, I know that it's like 1045 right now, but I deserve this bag of hot Cheetos. So I guess that's it for today. That is it for the Holly Black book signing. So the next one that you will see will be me being prepared for the Lori Host Anderson and Elizabeth Acevedo book signing. So, you know. You see the clips. So basically I'm doing my makeup right now. It's 2.15 p.m. And today, or like later on in like an hour or so, I'm going to the metro station to go to a book signing for Lori Hose Anderson and Elizabeth Acevedo. So I'm very excited. I bought my ticket and everything. Now I'm doing my eyeshadow. So I basically put down the base. I put on bronzer in the crease because I like to put bronzer in the crease to make sure everything looks nice and blended. So I'm using my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I honestly don't know what makeup look I'm going for. I think I'm just gonna go for something very natural. So it's like really easy and it doesn't take a lot of thinking to do. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow real quick. It's nice to update you on what's happening in my life because a lot of things happen in my life and I need to talk about this amazing TV show. So for the past days, I think from Monday to Thursday, which is yesterday, I've been binge watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is on Netflix if you don't know and it's a fantastic TV show. I literally neglected everything in my life. I didn't read I didn't play Pokemon. I didn't watch anything else but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's so freaking good. I think I will talk more about it in my January wrap-up obviously because if you don't know in my wrap-up videos I talk about books, movies, TV show, music, and all that fun stuff. But just so you know it's so freaking freaking good as an anime. So I watched it. I finished it last night. I cried my ass off. I cried so much last night to the point that this morning when I woke up my eyes were squinted. I'm using Urban Decay eyeliner in Starfire. So yeah, I've been just loving Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's been great now that the show is over. My life is kind of empty even though I finished this last night and oh my god it was just really good so now um, i have to get my shit together and you know read so i've been reading this graphic novel it's called speak by Lori hose anderson because i want to you know remember what happened in the story because i read the novel like a long time ago and i figure i might as well read a graphic novel because it's faster and it's easier and i couldn't even do that right on time because i've been binge watching full metal alchemist brotherhood so today before the book signing hopefully i can read like a few more pages and then meet Lori Hose Anderson and be like yo I love your book girl but honestly I'm so excited for today's book signing because Elizabeth Acevedo will be there and, and if you don't know she is the author of The Poet X and I love 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 The Poet X I have been talking about that book non-stop since last year I believe and oh my god it's just so good and I cannot wait to see her and tell her how much I love her book. Now for the highlighter and I like to use my Fenty brush of course this is the Fenty highlight brush you know she has like a short tooth that's what Rihanna calls it <laughs> me trying to be Rihanna so now I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit honestly I don't want too much though so can you see it I think you can see it it's like right here yeah boy i hate myself and then for bronzer i'm using my trusted sephora bronzer in los cabos so now i'm just gonna warm up my face a little bit does anyone remember this milani luminoso blush ah oh, there is like a nice color flush to the skin i'm done with my face makeup so now i'm gonna use setting spray and then i put on mascara and then lip and then i'll be good i should end this part right here you saw me put on mascara in like 
the earlier part so I don't need to do it now so I'm just gonna finish my makeup and then I'll change and then go to the metro station get to the bookstore eat because I haven't had lunch and I don't know if there's food downstairs so peace um this vlog is a fucking mess but whatever <laughs> Welcome back, DC's own Elizabeth Acevedo to Inspirata. Superstar. She is the National Slam Poetry Slam champion, holds an MFA in creative writing from the University of Maryland. Her debut novel, The Poet X, was published last year by HarperCollins, was a Kirkus Prize finalist winner of the Boston Globe Horn Book Award, the National Book Award, and as of this week, the Walter Dean Myers Award. Yeah. novel with the fire on high comes out in may and is also available for pre-order last but certainly not least Lori Holtz anderson is a new york times best-selling author of books for kids of all ages including fever 1793 chains speak and many many others known for tackling tough subjects with humor and sensitivity her work has earned numerous national and state awards as well as international recognition her books Speak and Chains were both finalists for the National Book Award. And she was honored with the 2009 Margaret A. Edwards Award for her significant contribution to young adult literature. Please give a very warm welcome to Lori Holtz Anderson, Elizabeth Acevedo, and Linda Holmes. Welcome to everybody. The first thing that I want to, to tell all of you, because this is something that I already know, we had a conversation backstage about the fact that you know each other. <laughs> and you you two actually go back quite a ways. Yeah, we do. We do. You I can, You tell your part. Right. Um, so I was a sixth grade student in the class of someone named Phil Bildner, who was a writer. And his husband was an editor. And his husband was Lori's editor. <laughs> and I was a voracious reader and would read everything I could. I was on a challenge that year to read as many books as possible. I got to 84, which uh, was a big deal for me. I was competing against some big readers. And it got to the point where Phil was running out of books. And so he began giving me manuscripts that his husband had like received, right? And I got an early, early, early edition of a Lori Hoss Anderson manuscript called Fever. It didn't have a date yet. No. <laughs> and little 12 year old me is out here like giving edits to Lori. <laughs> like I know what I'm doing, right? And then many years later, um, I was put in touch with Lori as I was preparing to uh, choose an editor. And um, she was just the best mentor and gave me the best advice. And so it's such an honor to be up here with you tonight and um, such an, a love in my heart for her uh, speak. Um, can you want me to spin that cycle one more time? Yes, I love it. Because when I, um, when I, what Speak came out, and nobody expected it to be very big, but uh, I was nominated for the National Book Award, which really was a shock. And so I went to New York City. I'm a little hick girl from the mountains, right? So like little girl with big eyes. And another person who was nominated that year was Walter Dean Myers, right? I have a moment that's called Walter in our hearts. And Walter Dean Myers, who's a giant, and I hope you've all read his books, and you will, um, he, w he kind of took me under his wing that day, you know, so throughout all those events, Walter was kind of teaching me the way that we walk in this world. Um, so for me to be able to kind of share some of his love with you, and then for you to win the Walter Award, right? <laughs> May the circle be unbroken. <laughs> I wouldn't say I love your book so much. I just like finished reading the graphic novel yeah. before this, and I had to take a 
like deep breath in and I'm just gonna like let it out. Yeah, it's, I know that since it's a graphic novel, you get the visuals, but it was still hard to read it. Like I had to take a break a few times here and there. Yeah. Oh, I wanna, I love, love, love the poetics <laughs> like because i i went to your book signing um last year i believe so we, i got the book signed but then i was just reading the book i didn't finish it but now that i've read it twice and i have bought a copy for my friend i talk about it all the time on youtube well thanks for buying it for your friends and talking yeah about i it. i, really I bought it for him because he speaks spanish and he grew up in a spanish and i keep being like Read the poet X. <laughs> we, 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 we've been texting, and he's like, "Watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood." I'm like, "Okay, you read <laughs> the poet X." I finished the TV show, and he still hasn't read the book. I'm like, "Okay, so this is not fair." I finished the show already, so hopefully he'll match. I know. That's yeah. All right, I'm finally home. It's like. 10 30 right now because it's been a really really rough day so after the book signing i you know got my book signed got my pictures taken here's the picture of me with elizabeth acevedo and Lori house anderson it's just really wonderful to see them like this is my first time meeting Lori house anderson but this is actually my second time meeting elizabeth acevedo and i'm so happy i got the opportunity to tell her how much i love the poet x like if you know me the poet x is everything i have not shut up about that book because I think it's fantastic. Let me show you the books that I got signed. I got four books signed by Lori Hose Anderson. So the first one is actually Speak the Graphic Novel. So I finished this book right before the event and it was really good. So here it is. It says, Trin, may you always have the power to speak up Lori Hose Anderson. And her signature is beautiful like this is amazing. The second one I got is Speak. This is the original copy that I got like a long time ago back in 2015 so it says trend speak up and i wrote my name up top like three years ago and then the next one is speak this is the 20th anniversary edition so this is like brand new it says trend i promise to make another movie version and then the last book i got signed is winter girls so honestly i've never read this book and i was looking through this and turns out i got this book from the library like my old high school's library so that was interesting but it says trend taste life that's basically it for the event and then for elizabeth acevedo since i met her last year for the poet x i got my book sign and everything so i didn't have a book for her to sign but i basically told her how much how much i love the poet x that is basically it for today's vlog i feel like i have so much footage because i you know film two bookish events and then i combine to one for this video so i'm going to have to edit it tomorrow because i should have edited like the first part yesterday but i was watching full metal alchemist brotherhood so that was a little bit more important than like editing videos but tomorrow i will edit everything and then have this video up so i'm very very excited to look through the footage so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys later goodbye